Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. About Last Nightmare will be skipped until next week. Um, my buddy, the last shoegazer, is feeling a little under the weather. His family is, anyway. And, um, you know, today I'm going to be bringing you a tag video. Uh, I was tagged by Rob, the sci-fi horror guy. And this is the Favorites of the Franchise tag. Now, there's 25 questions in this one, so I'm going to get started. Uh, question number one is Friday the 13th. Um, anyone who knows me knows that my favorite is part two. Um, Baghead Jason's awesome. Uh, question number two is Halloween. Of course, that would be my favorite horror movie of all time, 1978's Halloween. Uh, number three is Nightmare on Elm Street. That's going to go to the first one, even though I do like Dream Warriors. Uh, the first one is just was just so original and awesome. And I do believe that it was definitely Freddy at his scariest. Uh, number four is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I'm a big fan of the original. I absolutely love it. Always have owned multiple copies of it. And um, it's just a fantastic film. That's definitely number one for me. Question number five, Child's Play. Uh, this one is going to go to the first one, but part three and Curse are very close in second place. Um, I think part three ed maybe edges out Curse just a little teeny bit, but sometimes they flip-flop. But definitely number one, I have a lot of fond memories from going to see the first Child's Play in the movie theaters with my buddy, and um, it's just awesome. Question number six is Phantasm. Of course, that's going to be the first one for me. I'm a huge Don Coscarelli fan, and I actually last year got to see Phantasm on the big screen, finally, because I was a little too young when it first came out. So um, that was definitely a highlight. Uh, question number seven is Scream. Uh, that is also going to go to the first one, although I do think that parts two, three, and four are all pretty close to the original for me. But the original did it first, so you got to give it props. Question number eight is a tough one. Um, Hellraiser. I think most people would probably go with part two. Um, I'm going to go with the first one because I think it's it's just a little more unsettling to me than the second one. Uh, question number nine. The Saw franchise. That's That definitely goes to the first one. I thought the first one had one of the most incredible endings I've ever seen. I definitely didn't see that one coming. So, Question number ten. The Leprechaun franchise. Uh, this was a tough one. I'm going to say it's a two-way tie between the original and Leprechaun Returns. If, if I had to make a, a decision, it would probably be the original. Just edges it out just a teeny bit. But Leprechaun Returns is awesome. Uh, number 11, Hannibal Lecter. Um, I like all the movies in this franchise, but the best one, without a doubt, is... Uh, Silence of the Lambs, in my opinion. Um, just the actors in it. The second one is a great film also, but it does have Julie, you know, Juliana Moore. Um, and I think that hurts the film a little bit. But, yeah, definitely Silence of the Lambs. It's a fantastic film. Number 12, The Alien Franchise. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the original Alien um, most people like Aliens better. They said it was a better film. I disagree. But I see where they're coming from. You know, it was definitely a different tone from the first one. But I love that isolation that the first one provides. Um, it's very creepy. It's very atmospheric. And like I said, it's very... To me, it was always very claustrophobic. Uh, question number 13... The Evil Dead franchise. Uh, that's going to go to the first one. Um, 
absolutely love the original Evil Dead. Um, it's just amazing. The second one I've, I'm not really that big of a fan of um, when I was younger. It's kind of won me over now. It still comes in last place for me, though. Um, I love Army of Darkness, too. It's pretty cool. 14. Psycho. Of course, I'm going to go with the first one, but I do believe that Psycho 2 is one of the best sequels that has ever been made. Um, just fantastic film. The first one is just so, so brilliant. It's amazing. Question number 15 is the Wrong Turn franchise. I'm actually a fan of um, Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings. I like the prequel. I like the, uh, the snowy background. And the more I watch it, the more I like it. So I think I'm going to go with Part 4. I do love the original, but Part 4 is just a lot of fun. Question 16 is the Amityville Horror. It's definitely going to go to The Possession, Amityville 2. To me, it's a much darker film, and there are a lot of... There's a lot of subject matter in there that's really rough. So, Question number 17, Children of the Corn. It's definitely going to go to the original, although um, I'm a big fan of Children of the Corn Runaway. I think it is a great film. It kind of feels like what a lot of franchises have been doing lately. It feels like a direct sequel to the original. And, um, yeah, it's just fantastic. Uh, 18, actually, I surprised myself on. 18 is the Jaws franchise. I'm going to go with Jaws 2. I think Jaws 2 has finally overcome the original for me. Even though the original is such an iconic film, the second one is just a brilliant, brilliant slasher. Um, question 19 is the Final Destination films. Um, that's going to go to part two, the one with the traffic accident. I've always loved that one. I think the kills are brilliant. I love the way it all ties together at the end. It's just fantastic. Question 20 is the George Romero Dead series, franchise, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go to Dawn of the Dead. It's my favorite zombie movie, without a doubt. And um, even though I love the original, the second one is just brilliant. Just brilliant. Let's see. Question number 21 is the Hostel franchise. I'm going to go with uh, part two on this one. Um, also surprised myself with this one. The original gives you the perspective of the person who's being tortured. The second one gives you both perspectives. They give you the perspective of the people who are paying to torture these people and also the people who are being tortured. So I think it's like a um, you get more out of it, in my opinion. Uh, 22 is the Predator franchise. Without a doubt, that's the original. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers. Um, I mean, they're just... The list goes on and on. Um, Bill Duke. Um, Jesse Ventura. It's just a fantastic film. A really cool jungle adventure. Uh, question number 23 is the Tremors franchise. To me, that's going to go to the first one. I love the first one. Um, I don't think the other ones even compare to it, even though I haven't seen the sixth one yet. Um, two through five, they don't come anywhere close to the first one for me. Uh, question number 24. We're getting there. Uh, the Paranormal Activity franchise. To me, that's going to go with number three. Um, I like that one the best. I think it has the best backstory. Um, yeah, it's it's a good movie. I, I haven't always felt that way, but I kind of do now. I don't revisit them very much, but the more I thought about it, the more I like the third one. And number 25 is the Exorcist franchise. 
Um, <laughs> I love Exorcist 3. I think it's a fantastic film. Um, some very creepy imagery in there. And it's a really good film. But <laughs> the first one is just... It just blew me away. Yeah. So that is it. Um, this is a long one. I'm going to tag a few people. I'm going to tag uh, the Horror Miser, Monty G. Uh, Ross from Random Horror. I'm going to tag uh, Colton, from Heartbreaker. Um, hey, isn't that Devon Graham, Drew, from that channel? And um, that'll do it. So guys, like Sean says... Answer the call. And until next time. Peace.